Hey guys, welcome back to Gem and Cozy. In today's video, I'm going to bring you guys along for my March Stationery Club rewards, packing and prepping. This is a stationery club that I run on Patreon, so I'm going to show you some behind the scenes on how I prep the mailing list and how I put postage on all of the envelopes. March's stationery set is an aquatic and freshwater theme. Let me show you how I take the pictures for my social media and my Patreon. So I just took the little product photo for my Instagram and for Patreon. I usually kind of just put everything together into a little collage like this. And I can use that picture for the next launch that I do on my main shop as well because I always share what's going on for Stationery Club over there as well. This is my Patreon and I can go to audience. And they have this option where you can download the CSV file and add filters. So what I do is I kind of click through the filters for active as well as paid members because I only need certain addresses to print. So I have a supportive gem tier which is just a way for people to support me but they don't get any physical rewards so everything else needs to be checked off. And I like this feature a lot, but I feel like sometimes there are some small hiccups with it. So now that that's been filtered, it says 247 members. And then I can download the CSV file. Then I go to Google Spreadsheet and I upload the file that I just downloaded as a CSV so that I can format it to print on my Avery sticker sheets trying not to show addresses, but basically what I do is delete any of the columns I don't need. One really annoying thing about Patreon is that the zip codes don't save correctly, so I have to go into the settings and change the number format. So I highlight that, I go to format, I go to number, and then I go to Let's see, I just want like the number as it is. Oh, here it is, the 0000. And then that way, that's an example. The zero normally disappears on this list, so I have to reformat it before I print it. After that, I go to Avery's website. I use this template, the 8160, and I use the CSV file and upload it here so that I can print it all in one big list. I really wish Patreon had an option to do this, but this is the best way that I have found. If you guys know anything else, please do share. So I just go to my files and I add that list and then you can kind of format it here, which is kind of cool. And I like it because it lets you drag like the name and the order of everything over. I'm not gonna show you what that looks like since it has someone's address, but you can drag everything. And what it will do is apply that template to your entire list. So here is the sticker paper. I noticed that Amazon does have a cheaper version of this. So I have both of them on my supply list if you're interested in them. They are perfect for mailing out little addresses on envelopes. Sefi. She just had a bath, so she's still wet. <laughs> and there it goes. We are gonna use this fold out table and I'm just gonna set up everything here. The shipping box has the sticky note on the side of the box, but it feels wasteful, so I'm gonna peel it off. Oh, shoot. XL, and the my ducks aren't quite in a row. Here are all of the extras. I realized I printed 600 of the My Ducks Aren't in a Row, but only 500 of the Relax a lot. I'm not sure why I did that, but it shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna put the extras in the back. 
and I have an entire extra box of sticky notes here. Main station packing extras. And thanks to Jen, we're gonna have these really, really cool little wax seals that they made for fun and sent over. And I'm gonna use mainly the floral ones because I feel like this theme is very aquatic and plant-based with the lily pad. So yeah, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love the little butterflies. Thank you so much, Jen, if you see this. I think that people are gonna find this so special and so fun. This one is the perfect color combo with the Relaxolotl and the lily pad. So pretty. So I think my manufacturer printed this on postcard setting this time. And normally it is more of a light glossy texture, but this time it is shiny. And I hope you guys like it. It's very pretty but it's usually not what I go for. You can write on the back, put a stamp on it, and actually use it as a postcard. Alrighty, all the address labels are printed, and now I'm going to go through this like $460 order of postage stamps. I just need to make sure I got the right amount. I got some 10 cents ones because I know places like Hawaii and Alaska technically cost more to send letter rate mail to so i just stick some extra on just in case two three four five so that's six i got these really beautiful vanishing species ones and i normally get the floral ones but this is really fun and different this is like a higher cost per um unit and i'm gonna use them as additional ounces for the sticky note going into the envelope because it ends up being like 1.6 ounces and then this is the mighty one wait i forgot i'm supposed to count this one two three four five six seven eight perfect and I got a bunch of tulips and other designs for April. I just paid for it in advance. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so I got more of these. My post office never has enough stamps, so whenever I go there, I feel like I wipe them out. So now I just order online, and I do have to pay for extra shipping like they have a little fee but it's not that bad it's like two or three dollars one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven perfect and then these were the ones i wanted to use for this month because they had a little bit of like floral and butterfly elements that I felt like would work really well with the aquatic theme. I couldn't find anything perfect for it. So we're going to roll with this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I just noticed that they made the little you're a star, feel better, all these things stickers. So I can use those for scrapbooking or stick them on your envelopes which is an extra added bonus so we're gonna use these first these are the ones that i usually use for the two ounce it's like a 70 80 cent stamp to make up for the added postage but they were in the process of switching out to a different design so it wasn't available online when i was trying to order and then their new two ounce design was up for pre-order which meant that i couldn't order it until the end of the month and that would have been too late also i try to unbox these really gently so that i can use all the materials again so i use the backing for some of my art prints when i mail out stuff or bookmarks and I just use the plastic again for certain orders if I can. I don't think people mind and I like being eco-friendly. 
and then I use these little rigid mailer envelopes. I used to use a paper one. I kind of switch off depending on what seems to be like available and what I feel like is going to be the best fit. But I'm trying to get away from the small square rigid mailers, so we're switching to this. So I would stick the two ounce and one of the forever stamps on here. I can use all these little ones, they're so cute. It's probably gonna be really time consuming, but I might stick them on like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it goes. And then I have extra ounces in case I need it, but this is perfect for shipping. It's like under two ounces and it still counts as a letter. I have a serious addiction when it comes to drawing out punny things. I kid you not guys, sometimes I have these ideas and they come to me while I'm lucid dreaming and watching myself in my dream doing something completely irrelevant while I think about what I want to draw. March's Stationery Club is freshwater themed and I was like, if I need to draw a lily pad, but on a sticky note, because it's a notepad. Lily pad. You get it? So those, those are the four that have these little rigids. Okay, this is an extra I packed if you want to use that. And I can pack these. <laughs> so many of you guys have requested me to draw this animal. And it took me a while to figure out the visual and the concept that I would want for this design. And then one day I was just sitting watching Korean dramas and it really hit me how I wanted this to look. They are an endangered species. They have the unique ability to regenerate their limbs, eyes, and parts of their brain. They are a freshwater animal that lives in lakes, specifically in the Valley of Mexico. It's an axolotl. Except I turned it into a relaxolotl because self-care and mental health matters. My ducks are absolutely not in a rut. I don't even know where some of them are. And I'm pretty sure one of them's a pigeon. This baby blue color is so pretty. On the prints? Mm -hmm. so good. It looks good on the sticker too. Yeah, I'm gonna relax a lot. <laughs> I think everything printed well. The sticky note I think printed darker than I expected, but I think something's going on with my printing company. Uh. But they're like darker than I expected, but still nice. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. I don't know what they're gonna do, but so many things are printing wrong right now. Mm. What's going on with the company? Ooh. Some close ups. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. These oval shaped ones remind me of like Beauty and the Beast, mm. the mirror. Yes, I was thinking about that too and then I was like, oh, if it had like a rose, it's like, it would be really 
cue the music. The... And then Lumiere and... and... What's the clock's name? Lumiere is the candle. I forgot the clock's name. can't remember either. Oh, Lumiere is easier to remember. I remember like Mrs. Cox oh, and it, Chip like, Cogsworth. Oh, Cogsworth. that sounds, yeah, that sounds right, Cogsworth. How? Maybe you're like, it has like a, a mnemonic helping way to remember because it's like illuminate, mm. but I don't know what Cogsworth means. Maybe cogs are the, you know, the little gears that turn inside the clock? Yeah, maybe um. there's a relationship there. There's got to be some kind of meaning to it. Maybe it's, I just said, yeah. Mm -hmm. But Beauty and the Beast was also one of the movies we did not own at the yeah. VHS. We didn't. Huh. So I feel like we watched it less. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I think we watched like The Little Mermaid, Little Mermaid 2, Blue Lone Stitch. Um. What are the other ones that we had on VHS? Lion King. Lion King. Oh, Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Um, we had a lot of the um, classics like Snow White. Aladdin. Aladdin. Um, what are the other ones? Hmm. We had Cinderella. Right? We did. Um, surprisingly, we did not grow up with Mulan. We watched that in theaters. Yeah, and then way later when we were older, I think somehow we ended up with someone else's, Mulan? like, Mulan. Yeah, like, sometimes, you know, like, the household will be like, my kids are too old, and then we would get random movies. Oh. That's how I ended up with Pocahontas, too. Oh. It was, like, one of mom's customers. Oh, I don't remember that was huh. like, oh, how old are your kids? And my kids, like, you know, don't watch this anymore. And then it became ours. Aww. But I watched Disney movies and, like, cartoons and stuff way past the age that I feel like people would consider, like, quote, appropriate. Age appropriate, you know? yeah. Well, they were but I feel like... like movies and animation are for everyone, so exactly. it doesn't matter. Exactly. We were really into animated movies and... Yeah. Oh, we liked Bugs Life. Oh, Bugs Life! Oh, uh, we really liked... Um, Pretend it's a seed, okay? But it's a rock. Dreamworks. <laughs> we liked Anastasia. Oh my gosh, Anastasia. That yes. was on repeat. That was... Anastasia was a good one. Um... Um... Ooh, we had Atlantis, too. Yeah. Atlantis. Mm. And then once like Pixar kicked in, well, I guess that was later when we were we weren't as young. I think we listed most of the movies we had. We had a pretty good collection. Mm -hmm. Good. I really liked Tarzan. Oh, the soundtrack was so good. Good mm -hmm. I still randomly just go like shoo doo ba ba da doo ba doo ba 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 doo ba da. That just replays in my head randomly. You know, we, there's one, there's this movie, we didn't really watch it, um, Spirit. Oh, oh of course yeah. the, That one had a really good soundtrack, too. Yeah. I actually watched it a decent amount, and I think it's because I nicely manipulated the kids that I used to babysit. Because they <laughs> nice. had it. And they had, like, this whole little, like, this is me in, like, high school, early college, so I'm, like, in my early 20s. Actually, no, I'm, like, 18, 19. Yeah, maybe 21, 22 at the latest. Um, they had like an obsession with Thomas the Train because there were three boys and they wanted to watch that nonstop. And Thomas the Train like is so slow, you know, like for me. 
And I was like, do you guys want to watch anything else? And I would like go through their little DVD book. Mm -hmm. And they'd be like, just pointing out all of the same movies. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, kind of just like gently coaxing them like, oh, is there anything else you want to watch? Just to see if they'd be open to it. Mm -hmm. And then we watched Spirit. They picked it out once they saw all the options. And I was like, oh man, I remember how good this was. And it was just as good. Mm -hmm. And they loved it. And then their mom was like, are you picking the movies or are they picking the movies? Because they're telling me that you guys are watching, you know, stuff like this, but they never watch that kind of stuff with me. And I was like, no, they, they want to watch Thomas the Train. But, <laughs> like, I'll give them options and I'll sort of be like, do you want to pick a different one? And then they'll just kind of let me, like, lead the way. So it was really funny because the mom was just like, I don't know what it is, but with Miss Dana, they'll watch anything, Aww. which was so cute. And then it kind of just turned into a, a thing where we'd like pick different movies because they had so many options and their parents wanted them to watch the other stuff but they never wanted to. Mm. So I watched a decent amount of Spirit Aww. with them. That movie makes me cry. And you help them embrace change. Yeah. <laughs> Later, it turned into like the Lego movie. Ah, yeah. And they got older, uh, Star Wars. What a big pile. <laughs> They're just so pretty. They are. If she had a little shop, you could do like a here's a 10% off code. Go see my friend. <laughs> She said she does it for like therapy. It's just like a nice way to uh, do something cathartic mm. and zen. Mm -hmm. And so Jen reached out and was like, Can I send you a bunch? And I was like, Sure. But mm. I wasn't expecting that many. <laughs> I was like blown away when I saw how many they made and how many they sent and how many themes there were. Yeah, there's a lot. I think my favorites are the ones with the uh, butterflies. So far, so pretty. Yeah, yeah, I like the ones with the um, flowers the most, probably because I'm such a floral person. Yeah, this one looks so formal, like official a little bit, so they can see it. Yeah, I think they're called laurels. Laurels. Or at least that's what the name on the envelope said, and I was like, oh, is that what they're called? Mm. Blanks and laurels. Oh, okay. Links and laurels. The adhesive is very strong too. Mm -hmm. It is. I just have to make sure I peel it right so that the adhesive part doesn't <laughs> come off, off with the with peel. Butterfly. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with us as we pack. We just wrapped up for today and we're gonna go and get some dinner. Today is also the last day to enter my 1K giveaway, so check that out if you're interested. Cookies and cream and strawberry. It's so pretty. Oh, I smell the cocoa on it.